Ways to hold on and get past a very dangerous time with our uh, heat index out in Kentucky. And right. we haven't really talked about the cars. We should again. If you've opened up your car today, it really is a blast furnace. That's a really good point. And it takes no time at all for those temperatures to get to extremely dangerous levels. We're talking uh, about 10 minutes in 90 degree heat is when you're going to start to be feeling like 110 to 115 in your car. Again, uh, it's very, very very quickly going to escalate up to a uh, dangerous level. So please, please don't leave uh, any humans or pets for that matter in your vehicles for any amount of time, especially when you're factoring in this humidity out there. The dew point right now uh, pushing the 70s, making it feel extra tropical across all of the area. We have temperatures around 96 downtown, 93 in Sellersburg. Then you're feeling the middle 90s around Linden. The wider view showing you really just more of the same, only one or two spots sitting in the upper 80s around Paoli over to Brandenburg. But whenever we actually look at what it feels like stepping out the door, everybody's feeling like it's close to those triple digits, feeling like 98 around Brandenburg down to Hardinsburg, and then feeling like the triple digits from Shelbyville over to Springfield, Kentucky. As we go into tomorrow again, we are basically going to rinse and repeat. Unfortunately, one more day looking at temperatures in the mid 90s with those triple digit heat index values. So here we go into tomorrow early afternoon already feeling like the middle 90s across of really all of Kentucky and going into the evening and about this time tomorrow night all of us still going to be feeling like the triple digits now as we look up to our north we do have a couple of showers and thunderstorms that are pushing just south of Indianapolis likely going to clip you folks around Seymour Indiana but it is going to be quite short lived however it is going to be bringing some heavy downpours certainly going to cool you off yes but you will want to uh, head indoors it is, it is packing quite a bit of electricity as that approaches us from the northwest. As we take you along on future cast into the next few hours, still holding on to the 90s, believe it or not, by about 9 o'clock this evening, and then only falling down into the upper 70s to get your day started on Tuesday. Quickly going to see those numbers shoot up into the mid-90s going into the afternoon, but the difference with tomorrow is that we are looking at a slight chance to get a few pop-up showers and non-severe thunderstorms, likely going to be bringing quite a bit of wind and quite a bit of rain from Hardinsburg over to uh, Bardstown, Kentucky. Again, that's right around 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so very short lived for us. Going into the evening, trending a little bit drier, but very muggy. Again, temperature is going to be very slow to be falling down from the middle 90s. For your Wednesday morning, though, this is when things are really going to start to change for us. We're going to be dealing with more widespread showers and thunderstorms uh, really all along 65 and points on out to the west. This is early in the morning, right around 7, 8 o'clock, likely to bring some heavy downpours that could even bring around 2 inches, even a few uh, locally heavier, higher spots, I should say, by the time that's all said and done. But look at the payout here as we go on your 7-day forecast. One more day in those middle 90s, and then that another chance for rain early on Wednesday. Drier and much more comfortable, Doug, as we go into the late part of the work week.